Swiss entrepreneur Christoph Inauen visits the grounds of a chocolate factory with three Peruvian cocoa farmers. His friendship with the farmers goes back to the days when he was a cocoa buyer for a Swiss supermarket chain. Even though the chain Co-op at that time was committed to buying at fair prices, he didn't see the farmers' lives improving. That's why Inauen and his business partner, Eric Garnier, decided to go much further. It was quite a surprise for Eric and me, because we always thought that what we were doing would change their lives. But since things weren't changing, we asked them what we should do. They said that they wanted to establish their own chocolate brand. This was their way out of reliance on the stock market and speculators. Inouen rose to the challenge. He left his secure position at Co-op, and together with the 36 Peruvian cocoa farmers, established the new Swiss chocolate brand Choba Choba. The cocoa, directly sourced from these farmers, is processed into chocolate by the firm Falklin in the Swiss canton of Schwyz. This arrangement has proved financially better than any development aid they'd previously received. Development projects taught us how to improve cocoa production, but they failed to show us how to market what we produce. Now we're learning that, thanks to Choba Choba. The cocoa farmers are not only learning how to market their product. As partners in the company, they're going through training to help them make all business decisions. And for that, they need to understand the production process. It's very interesting to see how chocolate is produced. That's why I've come to Switzerland to see how the best chocolate in the world is made. The next stop for the delegation is the Entlebuch Valley. Some of the milk from this farm is used in the production of Choba Choba chocolate. The farm owner shows around the delegation from South America. Their hope is that this kind of cooperation could counteract the growing pressure on prices. <laughs> this morning, one of the farmers told me, we can't always complain. We have to do something about our problems. I think that this attitude might bear fruit. Thanks to the proceeds from the sale of chocolate, the farmers from Peru have been able to buy more and more of the company's shares. In addition, they're now able to set the price for their cocoa beans. They can sell their cocoa beans at prices that are 60 to 90 percent higher than before. These are the first signs of improvement. But in the long term, it's clear we still have a lot of work to do. For their part, the farmers want to foster their ties with the Swiss. These exchanges are important. That's why we've invited them to Peru, where I can welcome them on my nice estate. <laughs>